Hey, peace and blessings, family. It's Nero back here, back here again with you guys. Another video, <laughs> and so yeah, um, in this video, I can actually for this video, I could be talking about this is gonna be like a Leo Aquarius type of thing. So, any Leos and Aquarius is watching my channel, y'all could probably learn from this video. I ain't gonna get too in depth with that. When I talk about it, you'll know what I mean if you, you know if you're aware of your energy. So with this being said, this video ain't really going to be talked about in no specific quote, but rather it's going to be talking about like polarities, the two sides of the same coin. And this video we're going to talk about um, and the, the individual and the collective, or like the individual and the whole, and how they actually, you know, and how they help out one another. And, you know, when we talk about these kind of things, it can get a little bit tricky or a little bit contradictory, paradoxical, because of how things work, you know, in this dimension or this realm things like that but i'm gonna try to break down as best as possible for you guys so let's talk about the individual you know talking too much detail usually the person who's an individual has a knowledge of self right or is more individualistic usually has a knowledge of self knows where they want to go knows their self loves themselves right and usually the person who's more collective usually doesn't you know have, you know doesn't have that time for themselves doesn't know themselves and if they did know themselves and their needs and all that they're more geared towards, you know, being, you know, ser you know, serving others, which ultimately is the goal. But for the example of this video, I'm trying to, you know, you know, use an example, you know, let's say for this video, I'm trying to use an example. But let's not say so much a person who doesn't, you know, know themselves, but more so the one who is more geared towards the collective, but never did know themselves, because that's the one I want to use. So now you have a person who is indeed geared more towards the collective, which is how it's supposed to be, but they don't know themselves. And this is usually, you know, Aqua you know, Aquarius, you know, un unconscious, you know, unconsciously, and I'll break that down. And then there's Leo, you know, and this is the unconscious Leo, somebody who may know themselves but doesn't know how to compromise, and loves himself but doesn't know how to compromise that. And then, you know, in this realm of reality, we call those people narcissists and shit like that. But I ain't gonna get into all that. But yeah, so without getting into too much detail, what's pretty much being said here? How do these two balance each other out? So I actually talk about this in some of my other videos, you know, back a while back, but in this video I'm going to talk about it like this. So for the person who actually knows themselves and loves themselves, they can actually, you know, what they're supposed to, you know, what their mind's supposed to do is learn to be a service to others and sacrifice some of their, you know, and learn how to, I won't say sacrifice, they do have to sacrifice themselves and there's a great fear for that because that's like a loss of power. But it's more so, you know, learn to sacrifice yourself, not in the sense of like you're giving your power away, but to learn to be open to what others may have to, you know, you know, say about yourself. Or to what others may have to, uh, you know, get, you know, give you feedback for, and it's not so that they can take away from you, but ultimately, what it's going to do is add on to. Ultimately, we think what it's going to add on to you, and that's just one way of looking at it. But all, you know, but mainly, yeah, when you, when you do have your power, you know, you do love yourself and on your path, right? and that's what I'm trying to say here. When you do have that going on, um, you know, share that light with others so that they can, you know, start to get to your level and be in your energy and not just be going with the flow all the time. And then when they learn to do that, they can, you know, start to do what you do. And that's actually how we're supposed to, you know, do it collective. You know, that's how it's actually supposed to be done because we all have our own bodies and our own ways of thinking, doing things, and feeling about things. So what does that ultimately mean? We're all here on our own paths and on our own reasons. So we all need, you know, so we all need to uh, be like Leo in a way. And in my, like, in my, uh, you know, my videos where I talk about Leo or any of that, you know, I bring that up. Uh, yeah. And then so, you know, with Aquarius, what kind of bird is that? It's definitely a predator. But, um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, with, uh, with, um, yeah, and then talking about Aquarius, people who are usually trusting, you know, the collective more, but don't necessarily know themselves, you know, that's where, you know, if we talk about Leo again, that's where Leo comes in. Or, if, you know, if you only say Leo, just the person who knows himself, that's where they come in, help that person out to help them establish themselves more. And, you know, another way, you know, to not get too into details with that, this is where this person would be like, you know, you got to love yourself and all that before you can love others. And that's ultimately what I'm trying to say with this video, you know. And then, you know, and then, um, with a, you know, a, you know, that's what, that's what, you know, that's what the person who loves himself, Leo, will tell the Aquarius person who loves the collective, love yourself or you can love others. And then Aquarius, you know, Aquarius to the Leo will be like, you know, um, you need to, uh, share that power with others and help them become more empowered so that they can get on with their own thing and, you know, be on their path too. So, 
Yeah, but it gets deeper than that, but this is just, you know, something I want to share, you know, with how the individual motivates the collective. And if I left anything out, pretty much what I'm saying is, you know, when you love, when you know, when you love yourself, you're on your path and you know, you're in your light, share that light with others, like we say. And when you, you know, you know, you're a person who loves others and all that and doesn't really have that time for yourself, learn how to take out some time for yourself and, you know, learn to love yourself and get more intimate with yourself again, which is what Leo is good at, so that you can get back from the giving your light to others again. And that's mainly what I'm trying. That's mainly what I'm saying here in this video. That's how they balance each other out. Leo, you, you know, and help empower the collective. The collective help empower the you know Leo. They help serve each other. But ultimately, everybody realizes that it's all for a higher purpose because that's what it's all about. It's never you know, it's never like our egos try to make it seem you know, like it's a you know, it's about. Um, you know what I mean. I don't really want to get too. I don't want to overthink that and get lost into that. If you're a person who thinks like I am, likes to think a lot, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this video, so I'm gonna just keep it like that. But yeah, uh, so there you go. Individual one of base collective, collective one of base individual. And if I did just so happen to leave things out and it's not clear, feel, feel free to ask in the comments, like I always say, and I'll be glad to answer that and provide that clarity because that does happen. So. Yeah, but with that being said, I just want to share this video with you guys and give you some more, you know, uh, and kind of give you a little bit of insight on that. And like I say, like I'll say one more time, if you got any more, if you want more clarity, like more depth, just always feel free to go down in the comments and ask that. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later and I'll be out here enjoying nature and yeah, so peace. Love y'all.